we want to solve each equation. To solve each equation, we need to find the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. To do this, we need to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. Looking at the first equation, we have m minus six equals negative three. In order to isolate m on the left side of the equation, we need to undo the minus six by performing the opposite operation to both sides of the equation. And therefore, to undo the minus six, we add six to both sides of the equation. Whatever operation we perform to one side, we must perform to the other in order to maintain the equality. Simplifying on the left, negative six plus six is zero, which is why we added six to both sides. The left side simplifies to m. We have m equals on the right side at negative three plus six is positive three. The solution to the equation is m equals three. And let's verify this by substituting three for m back into the original equation to make sure it satisfies the equation. Substituting three for m, we have three minus six equals negative three. On the left, three minus six is negative three. Negative three equals negative three is true. Verifying the solution is correct. Next, we have eight equals p plus 12. In order to isolate p, we need to undo the plus 12 by subtracting 12 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, eight minus 12 is negative four. Negative four is equal to, on the right, 12 minus 12 is zero. The right side simplifies to p. Negative four equals p is equivalent to p equals negative four, which is the solution. And again, let's go ahead and check this by substituting negative four for p back into the original equation. Performing the substitution, we have eight equals negative four plus 12. Negative four plus 12 is eight. Eight equals eight is true. Verifying the solution is correct. Next, we have three plus w equals nine. In order to isolate w, we need to undo the positive three by subtracting three on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, three minus three is zero. The left side simplifies to w. W is equal to nine minus three, which is six. The solution is w equals six. And again, let's go ahead and check this by substituting six for w back into the original equation. Performing the substitution, we have three plus six equals nine. Three plus six is nine. Nine equals nine is true. Verifying the solution is correct. And for our last example, we have negative two equals x minus seven. In order to isolate x on the right side of the equation, we need to undo the minus seven by adding seven to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative two plus seven is five. We have five equals on the right, negative seven plus seven is zero. The right side simplifies to x. Five equals x is equivalent to x equals five, which is the solution to the equation. And once again, let's go ahead and verify this by substituting five for x back into the original equation. Performing the substitution gives us negative two equals five minus seven. Five minus seven is negative two. Negative two equals negative two is true. Once again, verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.